YouTubers, what's up once again? It's your boy Red Crimson 102. Yo, guys, today I just got this D512 carbon keyboard. This thing is really nice. And I have the G502 Hero Gaming Mouse Pad. Excuse me, Gaming Mouse. G502 Hero Gaming Mouse. This mouse is actually pretty nice, guys. I bought it for $50 at Target. It's currently on sale right now at Target for $40, so that's $10 off. Um, It's a really nice mouse. I like it. You can customize the buttons on the mouse. It has 11 buttons, and you can customize all 11 buttons through a downloaded Logitech app. There's also videos on YouTube showing you guys how to do that. I'm gonna take a look at it again myself because I like my old school games like Fair and Max Payne 2, but the Xbox controller don't seem to work on them. And I'm having a hard time finding third party apps to make them work. But anyway, that's not what this video is about guys. Like I said, G502 Hero Gaming Mouse and a G512 Carbon. This is $100. But I'm not even gonna lie to you. I love how this thing feels. G512 Carbon Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Um, It's wired, of course. RGB, GX Blue. USB, the works, you guys see it. LED keyboard, I love those. And I'm gonna do an unboxing for you guys. It's been a good bit since I did an unboxing. I must say, for $100, this packaging is pretty nice. You have the plastic covering the keyboards, that's cool. And of course, the wire runs in here. Through this piece of cardboard here. Look at these premium wires, guys. Premium wires, or should I say USB cable? I really love the wires on here. These things do not look cheap. Definitely better than my stock keyboard that came in my Alienware. Really dig the packaging on this keyboard. This is serious. Remove the plastic. Even the back looks nice. I wish this thing was wireless. But somebody at the store told me that wire keyboards are a lot better. Better response time. I'm not a computer nerd, so I wouldn't know. I have a wireless keyboard. I don't seem to have any problems with that. But the reason why I got this, guys, is to replace the wireless keyboard I have. I really don't like the feeling of it. But I must say, I really do like the mechanical feel to this. The response. The feel of the keys. Yes, it makes a lot of noise like a damn typewriter, but I just love the way how the keys feel. It feels so nice. I couldn't resist it. They had it on display at Target. Played around with it for a little bit. Fell in love with it. Now for the 
unboxing of the G502 Hero Gaming Mouse. The mouse that needs no introduction. By the way, guys, I did an unboxing of my Alienware R11. You guys can check that video out. It's in the link. So, this looks like it's leaning to the left. I don't trust that. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess the wheel is ten or was it eleventh button? I don't know. And there you have it folks. Unboxing of the G502 gaming mouse and the 512 Logitech keyboard hope i said that right you guys have this keyboard let me know what you think about it i'm getting ready to test this bad boy out and see if it improves my gaming skills you know i'm a console player i've been gaming on pc on and off for years but in a way i kind of prefer the consoles but we're not going to get into all that i like them both but at the end of the day i don't care what anybody says keyboard sucks for a lot of games especially adventure games i rather controller the mouse yes of course the aiming is always going to be better but that's my unboxing guys for the g502 gaming mouse and the 512 logitech keyboard they're both on logitech you guys give me a thumbs up if you like like the video subscribe if you haven't already and you guys have a Merry Good Christmas.